the interesting thing about giving someone you care about precious metals as a Christmas present is that it's not just a gift. It's the gift of wealth. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. Today I want to talk about getting someone silver or gold as a Christmas present and whether or not I think it's a good idea. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. But today, I wanna to talk about the silver and the gold. I wanna talk about Christmas shopping. I wanna talk about using silver and gold as a gift or a present for someone that you care about, someone that you love, maybe a family member, maybe a really close friend, maybe your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever it is, whatever you're into. Doesn't matter to me, I don't care. But I wanna talk about this today because there's actually a couple different ways you can go about getting somebody silver and gold as a gift. Now the first one I'm gonna be talking about is by far, hands down, the most common way, while simultaneously the least favored in the silver and gold stacking world. And I'll explain exactly why that is, but stick with me, I'll get into the more stacking related purposes later in the video. So number one is gonna be the jewelry. This is unbelievably common. People do this every day of the year. And on holidays, such as Christmas or Valentine's Day, that's where these jewelry companies make the most currency. Wonder why. But it's interesting when it comes to jewelry because similar to the coins, rounds, and bars, there are different levels of purity, except they're not referred to as four nines fine or three nines fine or 90% or pre-65 or anything like that. When it comes to the jewelry, it can go from 10 carat, which is 41.67% pure, according to the research I did. I'm not a jeweler, so I might be off. 14 carat, which is 58.33% pure. 18 carat, which is 75% pure. 22 carat, which is 91.67% pure, which is pretty close to pre-65 if you think about it. And then of course, 24 carat, which is 99.9% pure, also referred to as three nines fine in the silver and gold stacking world. So when it comes to jewelry, there's a couple of different ways you can go about doing this. It does absolutely make for an excellent Christmas present. However, it's also important to remember that the premiums are typically through the roof. You might think you're getting a good deal on the piece of jewelry, but it's important to remember that the premium is probably sky high because when it comes to jewelry, when it comes to the rings, the watches, the necklaces, and all that good stuff, it's way, 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 way more expensive to put it together than it is to just simply mint a little piece of silver or gold. So you can go about doing this by maybe buying your wife some earrings or maybe the wife buys her husband a gold chain. Maybe they buy their son a nice watch. Maybe they buy their daughter a tongue ring. I don't know, I don't care. But jewelry absolutely makes for a good Christmas present. That's why these jewelry industries are so massive. That's why these jewelry industries are as big and powerful and profitable as they are, especially around the holidays because all their commercials guilt people into buying their spouse something unbelievably expensive because if you don't, you don't love her. So with all of that being said, I wanna move into the second way you can give somebody silver or gold as a Christmas present this year, if you choose to. Hey, by the way, really quick, I interrupt this video to let you know that I will be going live in the VIP club tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The link will be in the description if you wanna join. And that would be the specialty rounds or the special occasion holiday themed coins, rounds, or bars. These are excellent for kids, I would assume, because they have these fun little designs for the holidays. It would make a good Christmas present, I believe, such as this little piece of silver right here. This is a 2009 random Christmas round that I got in the summer of, I think, 2018. Pretty 
simple. It says, best wishes for peace and joy this holiday season. And at the very bottom, you can actually see one troy ounce, three nines fine silver. So it has a little design. Looks like a person or a kid decorating a barn. He's kneeling on top of a horse. You can see the Christmas wreath, the Christmas stockings, and the ribbons and whatnot. For a kid, this would be a great present. They might actually appreciate this more and get more of a kick out of it than if you were to give them a silver eagle or a silver maple or something like that, just because it's a fun little specialty holiday round. And then we have this one over here, Season's Greetings. 1987. This is actually hands down my most tarnished piece of silver. This is how it arrived. And I love the way it looks. Somebody said, hey, you should clean it. And I said, why would I do that? And then on the back, similar to the other one, pretty simple design. One ounce, three nines fine silver. And it just has some horses, the houses in the background, the Christmas trees. It's pretty snowy outside. So again, I got it randomly just by ordering random silver rounds. But if you were to specifically order that or something similar or something for the holiday season, in my opinion, I think it would make for an excellent gift, especially for a kid. I know I would have loved it when I was a kid. Then finally, we have this Santa Claus round. Ho, ho, ho. With a picture of my uncle on it. And then on, on the back... 1994, one troy ounce, three nines fine silver, and really small around the sides. Pretty simple, pretty boring Christmas ornament design. I never actually thought of this myself, but somebody left a comment on my video a couple weeks back when I showed off all of my silver rounds, and they suggested that this blank ornament would make for a really good spot if you wanted to engrave something on it. Blew my mind. I can't believe I didn't think of that myself. But yes, absolutely. That would be an excellent idea to customize a silver round for your kids if you have kids or just a family member. And you could do this for other pieces of silver as well. It doesn't necessarily just have to be something for Christmas. You could do it with a silver eagle like, let's just say, what is this, a 2015? Let's just say you got married in 2015. So you get a 2015 Silver Eagle, and you engrave something on it for your wife or your husband or, or whatever. I think that would make for a good idea. But in conclusion, I do think that the specialty rounds, the holiday rounds, the special occasion pieces of silver or even pieces of gold would make for an excellent Christmas present for the kids. And now third and finally, I want to talk about my preferred way of using silver and gold as a gift. And that would be silver and gold coins, rounds, and bars in general. It doesn't have to be a piece of jewelry. It doesn't have to be a watch or a necklace or earrings or a bracelet or anything like that. It doesn't have to be a Christmas-themed silver round something that was made specifically for the holiday season. It could be any random silver rounds that there are. It could be any silver coins that there are. It could be a little fractional piece of gold if you want. I mean, this right here, according to the spot price, which is around the $1,800 mark, you break that up into 10, according to market value, it's worth about 180 bucks, but good luck getting it for under $200 because the smaller the piece, the higher the premium. I personally have always felt that it's worth the premium because I see it as somewhat of a security expense, which I've explained countless times in countless videos, so I won't get into it in today's video, but I've actually received silver as a Christmas present once before. I mean, let's be honest, I've gotten myself tons of silver and gold as Christmas presents over the last two going on three years, but one time it was actually given to me. Got it right here. 10 little one gram silver bars. Pretty cool, pretty awesome. My smallest pieces of silver, these were actually given to me by my cousin last year, last Christmas. So almost a year ago today. 
It doesn't have to be anything crazy. It doesn't have to be anything expensive. You don't have to go out of your way and get your spouse or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your kids or your friend or any other family member. You don't have to go out and get them a gold kilo bar. You don't have to go out and pick up this big 100 ounce silver bar or anything like that or a whole monster box of silver eagles. That is not necessary in any way, shape, or form. If you can only afford to pick up one or two or three or whatever pieces of silver, I think it would be an excellent decision to get somebody that you care about a little piece of silver this holiday season, especially if it's somebody that's aware of the fact that you stack as well. Odds are if you're married, your spouse probably knows that you're stacking silver and or gold. I would hope that they know, but that's your decision. That's your marriage, not mine. Or if it's your kids, it could be an excellent way of getting them into it, introducing them to the silver and the gold. Like I said about these specialty rounds, they might not be all too excited about receiving a piece of silver with the queen on one side of it. They might actually enjoy a holiday themed silver round or bar. And it's not just Christmas, by the way. They make Halloween themed ones, Thanksgiving, birthday. They make all types of silver rounds out there. And it goes for gold as well. I think you could introduce the kids to silver and gold that way. If you get them something that they consider to be fun and exciting, nice looking, or cool, it might actually get them into it. And they might want to get some more. Now the interesting thing about giving someone you care about precious metals as a Christmas present is that it's not just a gift, it's the gift of wealth. You're giving somebody wealth, you're giving somebody Real, true, honest money. I explain this all the time. Silver and gold. It's not just a product in the store. It's not just a purchase you made due to obsessive consumerism. It's real, true, honest money. In fact, a lot of people say that giving somebody cash or a check or a Visa gift card is the greatest gift because they can choose how they want to use it. I would say silver and gold is an even better gift because not only is it worth what spot price tells us it's worth, plus a little bit of a premium, but it has the ability to go up in value by a little tiny bit or maybe a huge, huge, huge amount. This stuff right here, sure, it's a really useful tool. This stuff right here, these fiat glorified IOU piece of paper, debt note dollar bills. Sure, you could stick these in a card and they can take them out and take them to the store and then buy something that they don't need if that's what they want to do. Of course they could do that. But this stuff, if they want to save it, if they're a saver, if they're someone kind of like myself, when I was a kid as well, I wouldn't buy many things. I would get Christmas money and I, I wouldn't really spend it. So if they're anything like me, they probably might be a little bit of a saver, but unfortunately, saving these things, for the short term, yes, excellent idea. For the long term, arguably a terrible idea because they depreciate in value. Silver and gold hold their value, have the potential to significantly go up in value and they have real true intrinsic value and they are constitutionally recognized as money, biblically recognized as money, internationally recognized as money. It's real true honest money, which is why I said, if you give somebody a little bit of silver and gold, you're giving them actual money, which I think is an excellent thing. And if they do a little bit of research on their own and develop a little bit better of an understanding to the power of precious metals, you could potentially be opening up a whole new world for them. Just like me a couple years ago, I only started stacking, coming up on three years now, 
a week or two away from the three-year stack anniversary. But before I started stacking silver, I didn't know about any of this. I didn't know that this was a thing. So by somebody introducing me to the silver and the gold, a very good friend of mine, granted he didn't give me silver and gold as a Christmas present, he, he, he let me know about it, and simply by letting me know about it was a gift in and of itself. He gave me a gift that opened up a whole new world to me. And like I said, it's been just about three years now, and I'm not looking back. I'm grateful, thankful, and appreciative that he let me know about silver. If he didn't let me know about silver, odds are the last three years would have gone by and I never would have gotten into it because I never heard about it before. I didn't know that it was a thing. So I'm very curious. Everybody watching this video right now, have you ever received silver or gold as a present before? Has anybody ever given you some silver, some gold, maybe some coins, some rounds, some bars, as a gift. Not just a gift, but the gift of wealth. I say this because I've received silver myself. Hands down, arguably, one of the best gifts I've ever received. And like I said, it was just 10 little one gram silver bars. It's not all that much. I wasn't handed a whole cinder block of silver, but I didn't need to be handed a whole cinder block of silver. This little amount of silver right here is huge to me. This stuff is great. That was the only time I received silver as a Christmas present. I've received silver on random occasions as well, which I'm also grateful, thankful, and appreciative for. I've had a handful of subscribers send me silver. And one time somebody even sent me gold to my P.O. box, which by the way, please, nobody, nobody do that. <laughs> you don't have to send me any silver. Don't have to send me any gold. I would appreciate a letter. I love receiving letters. Point being is that I've received several coins, several rounds, several bars from subscribers of mine. These were gifts and they just appeared in my P.O. box at random times. It wasn't for Christmas or anything like that but I was given the gift of wealth. And if you're anything like me, you would probably think or perceive it as arguably the best possible gift you could ever possibly receive. Which is why I think it could potentially be an excellent idea for a Christmas present this year. If you guys are planning on getting anybody that you know, anybody that you love, anybody that you care about, some silver and gold for Christmas this year or whatever holiday you celebrate, head on down to the comments and let me know. You're going to get a little bit of silver for the kids, maybe the spouse, maybe a close friend. Head on down to the comments and let me know. What are your thoughts on instead of giving somebody some random piece of junk that they don't need for Christmas, what if you gave them some precious metals? And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a bunch of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of the YouTube videos commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,500, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations. And of course, the limited edition DYDSS Christmas line, which is helping us raise 
funds and awareness for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, only available until Christmas, so get one while you can. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And once again, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know. What are your thoughts on giving somebody a little bit of silver, maybe a little bit of gold, as a Christmas present this year? Do you plan on getting yourself a little bit of silver and gold for Christmas this year? I definitely do. But more importantly, giving a gift to someone else. Maybe your friends, some family members, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, maybe your kids, someone that you know, someone that you love, someone that you care about. Do you plan on giving them a little bit of silver, a little bit of gold, maybe a coin, maybe a round, maybe a bar for Christmas this year? And if that's your plan, let me know. What are you going to go with? Some silver eagles, silver maples, just some silver and gold coins, rounds, and bars in general? Or are you going to go with a special occasion holiday silver round maybe or a piece of gold, something that is Christmas themed? Or maybe you're going to go the more traditional way and go with some jewelry. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.